Welcome along to the fourth installment this month of the Worms Reloaded 2020 March series. What a roller coaster we have been on so far, and the action is set to continue here with uh, action from the 5th of March. As always, it is Deathwish versus a load of crap for this confrontation. And looking at the leaderboard, a load of crap is storming away. The 12 point lead so far, he's won all three matches, 11 worm bonus. Deathwish only with five worm bonus so far. But as you can tell from the matches already this series, the action is completely and utterly unpredictable. We do not know what's going to happen. And even when we try to predict it, we are often quite wrong. So as always, sit back, relax and strap yourselves in because here we go on yet another Worms roller coaster adventure. So here we go. It's a pond for match number one from the 5th of March's action here between Deathwish808 and a load of crap. And a load of crap is the one tasked with getting us underway here. And uh, looking at the worm placements, Deathwish actually has the worm, which is at the top of the uh, the map here, and um, isolated away. He's uh, high and dry for now, but I don't think it's only going to be a matter of time before he is wet and at the bottom of that pond. A load of crap here trying to get on top of this golf shoe here, not successfully being able to. So uh, let's see what he's going to do here. Looks like he has got a bazooka out, going to try and attack this worm to his left here. It's up in the air, it hits the barrels, 40 damage from the impact and an additional 26 from the fire dance. Deathwish 808 is down to 34 on that worm. A load of crap needs to be careful though that the fire doesn't burn down onto the top of his worm down there. We're just going to have to keep an eye over the next couple of turns to see what the fire does, if anything, there to a load of crap. Deathwish with the wind with him here, if he's shooting across to the left-hand side, looks like he's just going to do a... Uh, a little up and down here with a grenade to try and attack this 100 worm in between these two explosive barrels. This could be big damage here for Deathwish. Um, Lady Crap also got to be wary of that other worm. And there he is. A mine gets sent over towards the right-hand side and causes extra damage to a load of Crap's worm. Uh, first blood goes to Deathwish 808 there, taking out a load of Crap's worm. But um, so far... It's um, relatively slow paced. No major instances have occurred as of yet. There's a load of crap now with his high left worm. Rocket onto Deathwish causes a mine, to both the mines, to explode actually. And his worm is sent um, teetering down to where a load of crap's worm is as well. And he is dead. And there is some uh, death animation damage there on a load of crap's worm. We are three versus three here. And uh, Deathwish here with a very isolated worm, to say the least, is just going to skip his turn. And we are back over to a load of crap. I haven't actually noticed that worm um, early on, if I'm completely honest. I haven't noticed that Deathwish had that isolated worm. Can make things very interesting indeed. Although um, the area above that worm is relatively thin, so it's only going to be a matter of time before uh, a load of crap is able to attack. He's going for this worm here on the right-hand side. In between these two barrels let's see what a load of crap can do a nice place shot will cause massive damage and i think that might be enough and he just manages to jump out of the way to avoid the falling fire it is enough indeed 108 damage death wish is down to two we are three on two in favor of a load of crap here but uh, if you happen to see it a load of crap just happened to uh, Jump out the way just in time as um, Deathwish fires a rocket on his own worm, completely opening that worm up. Watch the fire, though. The fire is about to rain down on that worm. It does indeed, and Deathwish, by the skin of his teeth, avoids that worm going into the water. But you've got to think that that worm is going to be in the water anytime soon because on uh, a load of crap's next shot. But um, very lucky there that the fire dance didn't send that worm into the water you've got to say though from this situation it is looking very good for a load of crap to take the first game death wishes worms here not in very good situations at all rocket bounce does indeed send that worm to a watery grave and a load of crap could actually take this first game uh, with three worms remaining let's see what sort of thing death Wish can do here can he get that worm into the water he cannot however I do believe it's uh, a load of crap's high left worm next on the uh, to take the shot. 
So I don't yeah, think Deathwish is going to have to worry this time around. So he does have another opportunity to eradicate uh, a load of crap's worm on the right hand side there. A load of crap trying to bring his worm down as far as he can without making him fall down. A bazooka shot could work here, but um, it'll be very interesting to see. The wind is going to push the rocket up. He goes for a grenade shot instead, trying to make it explode as it's relatively parallel to that floor surface. Doesn't quite work out. And I think now we're going to see the end of uh, this worm for a load of crap to bring it down to a two on one. Deathwish, however, hits the uh, umbrella instead of hitting the worm, and that's catastrophic. This could be the end, and a load of crap could take the first game 3 0. Jumps over the pixels, and as long as uh, he takes away the uh, scenery that Deathwish has stood on, that is going to be game over. Let's see what happens. He's got the bazooka out. The wind is two with him. It's up in the air. Deathwish drops down into the pond, and that is the game. A load of crap takes the first one with three worms remaining. The players are back in the arena, in this open air arena this time, ready for match number two. A load of crap with the one game advantage so far. And uh, we are with Deathwish to start us off here in this confrontation. Opted for an open air setting this time, uh, no pond. So uh, hopefully, or potentially, we're going to see a bit more action uh, than we have previously as Deathwish opens up there. Hitting a load of crap worm over on top of his other one, but also triggering a mine down below to his worm. And catastrophically, that has eradicated him out from the game. The mine and the explosive barrel there. An absolute catastrophic occurrence for Deathwish. And he is down a worm, a load of crap. Four on three advantage without even making a shot here in the, this second game. Let's see what uh, a load of crap can do from here. Uh, looking above, the wind is going with him to potentially get a bazooka shot in between that high worm and that mine of death, which is directly above him. Um, let's see what he's going to go for, though. We're about halfway through the shot clock and no real signs of what he is going to do. He's been backwards and forwards a couple of times, but that is about it. Waiting for him to select his weapon. And he's aiming up. It is the bazooka. Maybe he's just going to go and try and attack from underneath. No, he is going out. So potentially going for what I suggested. Let's see. Five left on the clock. He's really got to hurry it up here. And he's actually missed his turn. He has missed his turn from... I don't know what he was trying to do there, but uh, clearly he took too long about it. And uh, Deathwish uh, throwing a bit of a lifeline there, actually. So a load of crap now. Um gets pummeled by the, <laughs> the bazooka shot. But Deathwish, he is kicking his own ass here. Seriously, he throws his own worm onto the path of the mine and the mine explodes right on him, reduces his worm down to 42. And uh, yeah, another one of those age old worms saying, I'm kicking my own ass, is uh, a word or a phrase that Deathwish has used against myself on many occasions. But this time around, it is purely for Mr. 808. Load of crap with this worm on the left hand side here, not really able to get in too much of the action. He's going to have to try and tunnel his way through. Careful of that barrel though, if he tunnels too much through. Let's see what happens. He does manage to set the barrel off, and the mine drops down on him as well. Both players here are really their own worst enemies right now, kicking each other's ass with explosive barrels and mines galore. But uh, as always, worms is just so unpredictable as what may happen. You just cannot make this up. Deathwish here potentially going to go for the worm on top of there. He does indeed. I don't think a load of crap triggered any mines, so all the mines are relatively safe, but one has dropped down below. Fire damage to a load of crap's worm there on the left-hand side, dropping him down a little bit lower. But um, there is an open alcove between those two worms on the left-hand side of the map now, which both players will have to be wary of. Uh, I think it's be Deathwish 8 to 8 that gets to uh, attack uh, a load of crap's worm at first, though. A load of crap here over the brolly. See what he can do. I think he's going to go to try and drop this worm uh, on the shoe here into the pond. But let's keep an eye on him. He swapped it out to a grenade. Doesn't fancy the bazooka. Explodes just above Deathwish 808. And that worm is in the drink. It's four on two. And a load of crap. And uh, you've got to say he is looking good here to take 
yet another victory. Although it is still very early on in this uh, match, a perfect, perfect grenade shot there from Deathwish 808. I think he would have liked it though if a load of Kratz Worm would have landed a little bit more towards the left. That would have um, probably sent him into the water. I think there's a direct, ho there's a hole there down there um, to send him directly into the water. But um, if a load of crap can't deal with that high worm in the next two turns, you have to say uh, that worm of uh, a load of craps on the left there is pretty much out of this confrontation. A direct grenade drop here. We'll see an end to this worm. And that is, I think he might get away with it. He does. It just rolled away from him to the left a little bit too much. Um, thus preventing maximum damage. But that worm is reduced to six and is very, very vulnerable. Um, and he gets to exact some revenge here. I think uh, we're going to see, though, uh, Deathwish reducing it to a three-on-two situation. No, we're not. We're going to see a rainbow over the top. And uh, what a wasted turn there from Deathwish 808. So we're back to a load of crap there. No, we're not really sure which worm of his will be taking the next shot. But you have to say it's uh, very favourable here for a four-on-one situation for a load of crap as... Uh, Moving his worm closer to Deathwish's worm on six health here. I've speak, spoken to Deathwish a couple of times, um, and uh, he's insisted that his abacus is currently uh, not calibrated correctly, and he's on the lookout for some new equipment. So any ab abacus companies out there, if you want to get in touch with Deathwish 808, I'm sure he'd be uh, very happy to hear from you. The grenade is up in the air. It's going to be too high, though. A load of crap put it too high in the air in the initial outset, and uh, I think this is going to give Deathwish the opportunity to... Uh, Eradicate a load of crap's first worm here down on this lower left side. It's bouncing, but the grenade bounces through the hole. I wasn't expecting that at all. And uh, once again, Deathwish throwing a load of crap, a massive lifeline here. Um, he's really not on his game at the minute, you have to say. After such dominance in the first series, the pendulum has completely swung in a load of crap's favour. And um, yeah, a load of crap really taking no prisoners as we see a nice little shot up over the top of that uh, mine but uh, luckily for Deathwish it wasn't an instant mine and uh, his worm is able just to sort of go over the top and on top of that brolly and it is safe to fight another day now can Deathwish do what he tried to do on the previous turn with this worm and uh, reduce one of these he's not going for the 26 worm he's going for this worm uh, on the far right of a load of craps here I think we're. I know he is rolling. Sorry, I look like to me as uh, that worm is out of here. I think Deathwish though is going to die from uh, death animation radius damage here. Let's have a look. Oh, he's just out of it. Very lucky indeed. But I thought for a moment there he was going to pull out the bazooka, and uh, bazooka that uh, worm on the far right of a load of craps there and send him flying into the water. That wasn't to be, but that worm is up next and uh, you've got to think yeah, he is, is going the, uh, to get rid of uh, Deathwish's worm here with here. the six health remaining. Rocket and, rocket and done. Yeah. Anything remotely close will do. 38 damage on the six health. He is out of here and we are three on one. Once again in this confrontation. The only saving grace here is can Deathwish reduce the deficit to a two-on-one? Uh, he can he can do it right away if he attacks the worm on the far left. Doesn't look like he is. He's going to try and do what I said in the previous shot, send this worm into the ocean. It's too low, though, unfortunately, for Deathwish 808. His only saving grace here is that his worm isn't within one hit radius. He's uh, it's going to take a load of crap, at least two shots here to get rid of Deathwish's worm fully. So Deathwish is going to have another opportunity to inflict some more damage. I think we're going to see a grenade toss up here. Probably the only thing he can do. He's got the bazooka out. He's got the bazooka out. Maybe he's just going to try and attack the brolly. He's got to be very careful though. He doesn't damage himself. He doesn't. 35 damage, reducing Deathwish's worm to 29. 28 with the fall damage. And uh, he is definitely within one-shot territory right now. Now, can Deathwish do something and reduce it, the deficit, to three, uh, two on one? A load of crap. Already won the first match with a three-worm bonus. He doesn't. He goes for a load of crap's worm that has 100 health, and that's really not going to help the situation. You have to imagine here that... Um, 
a load of crap, is going to win match number two again with a three worm bonus. Worm on the left, he's bringing into play here. This, 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 this could play nicely for Deathwish 808, depending where this grenade falls. I would say two second timer. Drop it down. I think three second might be too much. No, the bounce bounces towards the left. Correct way for a load of crap. And a load of crap takes another match with three worms remaining. Unbelievable scenes. He takes the game overall. And Deathwish will be playing for pride only as we head into match number three. So with everything done and dusted in terms of tying up this game, Deathwish is playing for pride in this one. Match number three from the 5th of March. For the second time in this series, a load of crap is on a four match win streak. Can he make it five or will Deathwish be able to reduce it as Deathwish opens up proceedings here with a bazooka shot from the worm onto a mine, onto a barrel. That worm is dead. There's a mine pinging around there on top of Deathwish. He's got some fire damage going on. We've also got some damage on Deathwish's worm on the far right hand side. Massive damage opening shot. 174 sends a load of craps worm already out of here. Three on four, but Deathwish is two of the Deathwish's worm, sorry, have already been reduced to almost half health. Let's take a look at that on a replay. With so much going on there, it's hard to keep up. The initial shot fires a load of crap's worm into the air. The mine goes off next to the explosive barrel. That kills him. Deathwish then lands on an instant mine, which uh, causes him damage. But then there's that other mine down below, which is teeter-tottering around and then ultimately explodes with a barrel of fire, which causes Deathwish's worm then to do a fire damage. A massive shot from Deathwish opening up proceedings and definitely puts him in a good position going forward in the final match here. Back over to a load of crap now with this worm on the right hand side. What sort of carnage can he do? All of the worms he has sort of access to are not around any sort of explosives. Maybe we can drop this grenade to the left, uh, right hand side, sorry, of Deathwish Worm. He can throw him into the fire and maybe kill him off if the grenade is close enough. Let's see what he does. He's definitely got the grenade out. He throws it and actually that's not good. The grenade goes off on his own worm. The mine adds double damage. He's created a pit and he is down to two worms. A load of Deathwish 808 here with a four on two advantage with a Deathwish to play next. A load of craps worms are both on the right hand side of the map here. It's not going to do him any sort of favours going forwards as uh, Deathwish hits a shot at the high worm there. He manages to cling onto the uh, scenery without falling down, but uh, a load of crap. He's kicking his own ass. We, we saw it with Deathwish in the previous match. Now a load of crap is doing it, and uh, you have to say, at the moment, it's looking good for Deathwish, but uh, we should never judge this early on in the game of Worms. Death, uh, a load of crap here, sorry, with his low right worm. Thinking about what he can do. He looks like he's going to target the worm on top of the golf balls here potentially push him off and down onto that mine down below he's just his height a bit higher so maybe he could be going for the worm at the back let's see no it is that one straight onto a mine fantastic shot mine and explosive barrel would that be enough to cause the end uh, to kill him it will 106 damage fantastic shot there from a load of crap reducing the deficit to three on two Still in Deathwish's favour, of course, as Deathwish now has the worm on the far right. Can't move. Uh, left, sorry. I'm getting all confused. The action is that thick and fast tonight. A fantastic shot across map. Almost perfect. Bar one hit point there from Deathwish. Just literally lined it up straight away and fired it without too much messing around there. And uh, fantastic shot, like I said, from our reigning champ. Now has the high worm here, potentially going to drop a grenade on this lower one. Uh, although he is adjusting the aim, so it looks like he might be going for the 49 worm. Nope. He goes just to the left, not going to be maximum damage. He could potentially create a water pit, which he does. However, a load of craps worm flies off to the right instead of the left. We've got some explosions going off there on the left hand side of the map. Luckily, all of the worms are out of danger. And we are now back with Deathwish808, who is surely going to go for our high shot here. He does indeed just underneath. And that is almost enough once again to bring a load of crap's worm down. But a load of crap is not giving up without a fight. He really wants to stay up on that right hand side there. We'll be back with a load of crap's low worm here. What can he do? 
Like he could be lining up another cross map shot here to try and attack that 100 worm. He switched out to the grenade, so I'm not so sure now, actually. Oh, that was a good shot. Oh, quite unlucky there with the mine. He almost had enough um, force from that explosion to push that mine up to Deathwish's worm there. Instead, it rolls back down the hill and into that fire pit. And for now, it is out of harm's way. Deathwish, though, here with the bazooka shot. Goes high this time, isn't able to take away any damage from on that worm of a load of craps. Um, who is within one hit territory here, so he's got to be very careful of that. Indeed. A load of crap now, though, can move his worm higher if he wants to. I'm not really sure. I think he's targeting the, the 49 worm here. I don't think he's for any other. He's been a bit hit and miss as to where he's aiming for. That was a, a, a good-looking bazooka shot. I honestly thought there'd be more damage there than 23, but it does bring that worm of Deathwish's into one-hit territory there. So uh, Deathwish with two worms that he has to be rather wary of. Another cross-map shot from Deathwish just below, dropping him down, and that is going to be it. The fall damage has killed him. 30 from the initial shot, but an additional 10 from fall damage, and a load of crap is down to a solitary worm here. It is three on one, and Deathwish really not taking any prisoners here, looking to do as much as he can to reduce the uh, the healthy lead that a load of crap has built up over the first two matches. He got a six worm bonus from those first two matches, which is uh, quite fantastic, really. The the grenade is over. It bounces just right for him and uh, is able to kill off that worm of Deathwish, bringing it down to a two on one situation. Can a load of crap here hang on? And drag this one out to make it uh, his first ever five in a row win. Five five matches in a row streak. Sorry, five match streak win here. Can't get my words out. See what Deathwish can do here, though. Don't think he's going to be able to kill him off in this time. But a, a grenade behind like that is going to see him well. And he's in the pit. It does finish him off. He flies up in the air just far enough to land in that pit. And just like that, the game is over. Deathwish takes some sort of consolation in winning the final match here. And his pride is somewhat still intact after the final match here. Let's take a look, though, at the leaderboards and see how that has affected standings. So another round of Worms action is all complete, and that was thick and fast, our quickest three matches we've ever seen here. But a load of crap extends his lead now with four wins and a 17 Worm bonus, putting him on 25 points. Deathwish only with the seven Worm bonus on seven, 18 points behind a load of crap. Uh, but there is still plenty of time, as I keep saying, for Deathwish 808 to bring this one back and take the fight to a load of crap. Thank you very much once again for tuning into this action, guys. Really appreciate it. But until the next match, thank you and goodbye.